how to import CSV in ClickUp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can have a file into a CSV format and also how you can upload it into your ClickUp workspace. So we're going to head over ClickUp and then we're going to sign in into our account. We're going to head over any of the, uh, as you can see here uh, on the left side of the screen, you can go ahead and head over docs because uh, all of the CSV files are going to be uh, files created, for example, from uh, Google Sheets or from Microsoft Excel. It is going to be the same. All the files are going to have here some columns and these columns will have some nominations, calculations, maybe formulas and etc. Maybe also some file attachments. So. On the docs, it is going to be here crucial for you to add these files because it is going to be published or set up for all the teams or the designated members to see it right there. So if you have here a, a ClickUp account or a ClickUp team account, you can go ahead and assign whatever personnel that you have into your team list into this specific project and you're going to show them all the files or the necessary files they are going to work with. So in our case, we're going to have here, for example, the docs, we're going to start with it. You can go ahead and create a doc, for example, like that, but this is not going to be for our today's uh, video. We're going to click on the drop down or the arrow in here. So we are going to have an expandable menu. So as you can see, you can go ahead and start with a template or you can go ahead and have the new implementation, which is going to be import. You can go ahead and click on import and then you're going to select any type of file. So we here we have here, as you can see, a lot of uh, file types and also integration. We have Google Docs, Words and etc. But the most important part in here is going to be any spreadsheets. So as you can see, the CSV file is mentioned in here on any spreadsheet. You're going to click on continue and then you're going to have the model of the spreadsheet. When you're going to click on upload data from file, you're going to see everything in here. So as you can see, we have already a pre-made, uh, as you can see here, a spreadsheet that is going to be compatible or fully compatible with ClickUp. So you can go ahead and amuse yourself by clicking or creating a spreadsheet that is a very similar like task name, description content, task assignee, status, list, and also everything, due date and also start date. Now, what we're going to do is to head over the Google Sheets. I'm going to create a new sheet and then we're going to have it like that. So I'm going to copy and paste all the names that we have. For example, here we have task name. I'm going to see also that we have task or description content, as you can see in here. Description content. Con just like that. And I'm going to have here the sheets, as you can see, or the columns a little bit wider. So it is going to be uh, readable. I'm not going to be adding all the columns, but maybe three to five columns. Here we have the task assignee. Here we have the task assignee. Assignee or assignees. Like that. Let's see if I have spelled it wrong. A is like that. I'm going to delete the A from here and here we have it. Now for the fourth one, it is going to be the status. Status like that. Now we're going to start by putting the task names. For example, I'm going to have here create a photo shop file. Description uh, animate and let's say here a pre make all the tools. The assignee is going to be, for example, Jack Smith. The status is going to be here to do. And you can go ahead and have a lot of uh, different, uh, let's say here, uh, tasks and also descriptions. So we are going to put here the title as click up click up or click up like that test. So now I'm going to click on file and then we're going to click on download. 
From here, we're going to have the comma separated values or CSV. Click on it and we are going to download that file just like that. Wait for it. And here we have it. Now I'm going to deposit this file into this specific area. I'm going to drop it in here and wait for the process to be done. Normally, if it is going to be a correct file, you're going to see all of the data that has been gathered from here. So here we have the task name, description content, and the task assignee. You can have here, for example, the encoding. You can have the UTF-8, UTF-16, or whatever. So this is the encoding detected. Now, what are we going to do? As you can see, we have an option. Does the selected row contain columns headers? Yes, I'm going to put yes. And as you can see, this is going to be the task name. So it is going to be reading it and also mapping the content. So this is going to be there for ClickUp uh, standard um, CSV or the spreadsheet. And this is ours. So I'm going to confirm the mapping or I can go ahead and ignore the mapping. I'm going to have the status. Also, we have the task assignee and everything. I'm going to see here if something is going to be 100% or if they are going to be sure, I'm going to confirm their mapping just like that. And then we're going to click on review. It is going to do the matching. As you can see, everything is set up. Now we can go ahead and click on continue and then we're going to submit it. This is the repair. Now we're going to have the import details. So we're going to select the import location. So either you are going to import it to the ticket system. For example, this is a workspace or another workspace that is named like that. So in your case, it, the nomination is going to be changed. Of course, I have created my own workspaces. So I'm going to have this, for example, ticket system. So the column with multiple values, as you can see, do any of your columns contain multiple values separated by a delimiter? For example, a tag column with one, I can go ahead and have the assignee or you can have it like that with, for example, what is the delimiter? I'm not going to have the delimiter because I haven't added it. Click on next, and then we're going to see the user mapping. The imported user is going to be like that. The ClickUp user, as you can see, is going to be uh, select a user, or you can go ahead and invite it by, by mail. So for example, I'm going to have the email address. Uh, for example, like that, that, like this, boom. Then we can go ahead and click on next. So now the last part is going to be the status mapping. So you're going to have the imported statuses and also map to open or close. So you can go ahead and click on create a new status or we have the open and close. The to do is going to be, for example, having or referring to the open. I'm going to click on complete and then you're going to be on the standby. It is going to be uh, the import is going to be on the process and you're going to receive a, a specific notification into your specific uh, your workspace. As you can see, the import has been completed. So you can go ahead and manage your import by clicking on this page and you're going to see the spreadsheet. Now, what I'm going to do in here, as you can see, we have the imports and the exports. From here, I'm going to be back to the uh, space that I have. So this is, as you can see, the doc. I'm going to click on it. So this is not the doc I have created. I think that this is the doc I have created. So it doesn't matter a lot. I'm going to have my file in here. So it is going to be the imported file and we're going to wait for it. If it is not added in here yet, it doesn't uh, matter a lot. So you can go ahead and have your file waiting for you. So you can go ahead and have it right there. So you can head over, not the docs maybe, but you're going to head over the ticketing system and see that we have the imported from spreadsheet. So we can have here the task, as you can see, description of it and everything. So the more the tasks that you're going to add, the specific, as you can see, uh, tasks are going to be in here. So the importation is going to be very simple. You can go ahead and have also maybe an, a file in here and you, maybe you're going to upload a spreadsheet for it. Click on upload and then you're going to head over here, upload a file. Now for the docs, it is going to be very simple. These docs are going to be not only spreadsheets, but any type of documentation. So you can go ahead and integrate them when in or wherever you want. 
so that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one